Well, it's cold and snowy out. Well, it's not snowy yet, but I did go out, did a little running around this morning, and uh, there were snowflakes fluttering around my head. So it's getting, it's winter time. All right, I'm going to back on the uh, horses. I'm going to work on the last uh, three horses here as far as the uh, mane on the horses. That's the hair of the uh, mane of the horse and uh, a tail here. Um, I'll show what I can. I'm just going to use one camera like I did yesterday. Uh, not two cameras, so uh, I'm sorry, but it just I just want to get this done. And it takes too much of my time to use two cameras and try to align the video and everything else. And I'm just going to video, and that's it. All right, let's continue. I'm not having a great vision day today. <laughs> it's, it's a spotty. I definitely got to fill in underneath the uh, horse. Got a lot of deep cuts. And every time you got a deep cut, it costs a fortune to get cast. And I'm just trying to cut down on those costs. best I can. I just know there's a lot of deep cuts underneath here. There's one right there. Yeah, the weather's freezing outside. That's why you hear my propane heater kicking in because it is cold. Now I got the car running and I'm ready to go. It's uh, 32 degrees outside. It's just cloudy right now. Hopefully it won't snow. I'll show you what uh, it did last night. It's a little bit, but not enough to make a difference. And there are the clays. They're ready to go to the foundry. So let's get them up there and uh, I'm going to leave them off today and pick them up either this week or next week. Well, we did get snow last night, and you can see it in the foothills right there. Now, that's the uh, gravelies on the uh, western side of the valley here. Can't see the mountains on the east side because they're covered in clouds. And I'm heading north right now, and uh, there, if there's snow on the uh, foothills, there's probably going to be snow in the pass. So I'm just going to take it one mile at a time. Headed up the pass. And it is snow covered up there. And uh, the roads are just fine. Thank goodness. I was worried about that. 
back before they built this uh, new highway here it was a winding two-lane road that was extremely dangerous in the winter time and it scared the crap out of me when I first moved here but for about the last 20 years it's been a it's been a good road <coughs> this is on the old Bozeman trail by the way the wagon trains used to come up over this uh, pass and stage coaches and all kinds of stuff it was uh, getting into Blackfoot country here and this is uh, this is dangerous country at some times at, uh, in the 1800s that's looking up north towards uh, Three Forks and uh, the headwaters of the Missouri River which is about another oh, 40 50 miles north An old homestead off to the uh, right here that was uh, settled by some people with the last name Eleven back in the uh, 1800s, and there ain't much left of the uh, buildings now. I, when I first moved here, there was a chicken shed and a kind of like a, a shed of some kind, but they've all collapsed uh, through the uh, ages. And uh, scenery does change as uh, you get older. I just passed a big blood patch on the road where a deer had been hit. And off to the side, the right side of the road, where were two big uh, golden eagles uh, eating on the carcass. Those birds are huge. Dang. Wish I had my camera going. <laughs> All right, I'm coming into a valley here. Uh, east of uh, Norris there used to be a city here back in the 1860s during the gold rush uh, it was it looked like San Francisco I mean a small scale San Francisco with banks and saloons and buildings and stores and uh, you know hotels and all that stuff and now there's nothing absolutely nothing it's it's funny when you see something like this how quickly the land takes back what man takes when they leave how this is where we meet the uh, Madison River driving through this canyon and uh, almost hit a mountain lion running down to the uh, river for water. I always love this part of the canyon. This is 23 miles from my home, by the way. spot up here on the uh, river where the bridge is that uh, there's a sign that shows activity has been going on here with humans for over 30,000 years this was one of the major uh, routes for uh, migration and travel was uh, through this canyon along the Madison River. They were building uh, the bridge years ago 
when I lived up on the mountainside with my son Jason and we were going to Bozeman and my truck broke down right about here it was an old truck and while we waited for a tow we watched uh, them archaeologists excavating an old uh, toll house that used to be right here on the river there used to be a toll bridge across the river for wagons and wagon trains and stagecoaches and all and they were uncovering a buffalo shoulder plate out of the uh, fireplace of the old toll house which showed that's uh, you know kind of like what their diet was with buffalo now there's Ted Turner's ranch which is off to the right here and um, he raises buffalo for meat Ted Turner of CNN fame I just dropped the uh, clays off to uh, the foundry and I'm heading back home now it was a good trip uh, no no weather to interfere with my traveling um, I'll be picking the uh, clays up next week not this week and uh, I think I'm going to do a, a demonstration video tomorrow I don't know depends on how I feel all right oh no it's not tomorrow I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow <laughs> all right I'm heading back to uh, Annis in a beautiful fall day here in the Gallatin Valley. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.